Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about reference tables. Reference tables are replicated from the master aggregator to every leaf node. This allows us to do really fast joins for smaller data sets. So let's take a look at how MemSQL works. MemSQL has aggregators. These are where clients connect to run queries. The aggregator will pass the query on to all the leaves that store the data. Here's the partitions where data is stored. So imagine we need to do a join between a table sharded from here to here. Well, in the process of the join, some data may need to copy across the network. A reference table solves this by creating an instance of this table in every leaf node so that we don't need to transfer data across leaves to do a join. So let's take a look at how this works in practice. I'm looking at the TPCH dataset, and in particular the line item table. I've loaded the line item table here, and I've used a MemSQL pipeline to load this data. Let's take a look at the data that we have in this table. Now what I notice here is that this shipping instructions and the ship mode is pretty redundant. It looks like this might be better stored as a lookup table. Let's take a look at the ship mode first. I only have seven distinct rows in this table. That's perfect for a foreign key. Let's create this reference table. Now the only difference in this definition is it says here, reference table. Everything else about this table definition is as we would with any normal table. Let's insert those seven values into this ship mode table. And then let's join on it to validate that we've got everything as we expect. Yep, that join worked just fine. So let's create a ship mode key column and we'll update the data into the ship mode key column. And let's validate that that worked as expected. Yep, ship mode key is populated. Let's do the same thing for the ship instructions. We only have four rows in this case. That's perfect for a reference table. Here's our reference table. The only difference here is that we have this reference keyword. Let's insert those four values into our reference table. And let's validate that we did that correctly. Yep, that's working as expected. So let's add that instructions key column into place. Populate that data. And validate that we've got all of the data populated correctly. Yep, we have the ship install key and the ship mode key populated just fine. So now let's remove the old columns. That'll save us some storage data by not having these bar chart columns in our data set. That worked out perfectly. Reference tables are a great way to make joins faster by replicating small tables onto each leaf partition.